questions. Good question. Ay, ano pa? <laughs> Alright, thank you, Albert. Alright, Miss Tess, I hear you have a couple of questions. Yes, ang daming pumapasok na questions. Pero ang isang nakakatawa dito, kinikilig sila kay Sab and Resho. Ano ba yung ganyan? si Chan Chan Torres, our friend from uh, Regional. Do you also see yourself na magka-love team if ever? Uh, <laughs> Ayan. Oh. Yeah, so you go first, Hampa. <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh, Resho, you gotta ako. go first, bro, as the, as the guy here. Uh, how do you feel about I'm, that first I'm not really sure how to answer this, but then, um, obviously, Sabine, I um, really got along when I first met her. She's a, she's a wonderful person, really nice, and uh, we've been exchanging ideas and all that. She's wonderful to work with. Um, at, the, at the same time, I don't really think I'm you know, comfortable with that yet, but then it's cool. It's cool. I mean, I'm glad people are getting killing over it, but at the same time, I think we're just good friends, you know. <laughs> How about you, Sab? Uh, well, first, thank you to the person who gave that question. Um, firstly, the love team question right now, Resh and I are starting our careers. We're really trying to establish uh, who we are in the industry so I think that uh, in the future personally for me I'm open to anything that comes along um, and I'll be grateful for whatever opportunity uh, as long as it's uh, appropriate and I trust management very good okay. very smart uh, I guess <laughs> I know I'm not too much older but for you guys I got the I get the Kuya vibes um, and I'm yeah, happy that you guys answered this way as well because you guys are both very uh, unique in your artistry um and so that actually kind of leads to our next question as well which is what would you rather be like or what would you rather have you one hit wonder for example that song she or tired eyes booms all over the world and is remembered for decades to come but then that's it or would you like to have that lasting presence throughout your career young longevity start with you sam uh well, I like to think long term, so definitely the lasting longevity of having a lengthy career and having it being various and showing different parts of yourself. So, for example, I could be like indie pop now, but then I could get into pop R and B hopefully in the future if I wanted to. So, we're here for the wild ride, guys. <laughs> yes, we are. Resho. Uh, I feel like what Sab said. You know, you're all, you're constantly growing throughout your career. So, um. I believe that hopefully like every time you change sound or like you find a new sound that you like you kind of get that like, like, uh, like a song that booms all over the world because um obviously as a person you're changing every few years your tastes change everything changes so i hope that along with that um my career goes to also long our careers go long and uh con and constant you know it's a constant journey for growth so yeah and uh, as resho said we have the talent here in the Philippines. We do. We have the talent, the skill, and the passion. And we truly deserve, or OPM truly deserves, to be shown on the global stage and the global platform. To the two of you, we're so excited for everything that's to come. Uh, now that you are part of the Star Magic family, we know that there's no going back uh, because you'll keep on flying and you'll be one of the, the bright stars in the sky, our Star Magic family sky so we're looking forward to everything and congratulations once again on being part of star magic thank you Resho and thank, thank you, you Sav much. but thank before you, we go thank really you quickly do you have anything that you would like to say to everyone watching Sav uh, <laughs> uh, well maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat ng nanood ngayon uh, we're very very thankful for all of the support you're sending our way so we really hope you, that you can um, check out our projects that we have right now. Uh, personally, for me, uh, like what Edward said earlier, I have a music video coming out for She Later at 7 p.m. Uh, so check that out to Star Music YouTube channel as well as my music video of Cancelled and my performance video of Peace Into Her Sab Version. Um, and then uh, you can follow me so at Official Sab Music on all digital platforms. And guys, please be sure to watch the Star Magic Black Pen Day airing on July 18. 9.30 p.m. on the A to Z and Kapamilya channel, guys. Thank you so much. And like what Sav said, uh, go watch a music video coming out tonight. I can't wait for that awesome stuff. Um, and uh, for me personally, you guys can go support me by uh, streaming my new song, my new single, Guitar Shi Records. 
uh, Tired Eyes. It's out now on every streaming platform possible. You can also support me by following me on my social media accounts, uh, Resho underscore Joaquin on all my social media platforms, as well as my Kumu, which is Resho underscore. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you to all the media friends that came in today and asked us questions, the wonderful questions. I appreciate you guys. And salamat sa mga kapamilya na nakatun in sa live streams po ngayon. There we go, Resho and Sab. Thank you again. And I do see what everyone's talking about. Uh, yung kilig factor ni yung dalawa. We'll see. We'll see where things go. We're, you know, everything starts out as friends. So we'll be looking forward to the next chapter of your careers. And thank you guys once again for being here for our media con today. Sab and Resho, everybody. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paul. Thank you Thank you, Paul. Thanks, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Kukuya Edward. <laughs> uh, let's have a chat later about that comment there. Pero yun nga mga familia, just as we mentioned, there are truly uh, a lot of great artists in this afternoon's media event. And our next group of artists are mentored by the hit maker himself, the one and only Sir Ogi Alcacid. Now, following the strategic partnerships of Star Magic, these new faces are now ready to bring their A game in performing. Everyone, panorin po natin to. This is the A team. congratulations to all of you and i only have one question and this is for all of you how would you like to write this new chapter in your career with star match Let's start with Davey. Uh, actually, I'm excited for the possibilities. Kung ano yung pwede nilang may bigay na mga opportunities for us to be heard or us to showcase our talents. So, ilang naman at the end of the day, ang kailangan lang naman ng isang artist ay pagkakataon. So, so if mabigyan ng pagkakataon, then that's a, uh, we're gonna be very grateful for that. One okay. shot is all you need. That's very, okay. very true. Let's go to Kuya Gian. Hello, yes, um, I see this also the same way as Davey, new opportunities. Um, that's why we're all here also. Um, also to be able to reach out to more people all over the world, Filipinos, uh, hindi Filipino, lahat. You know, kasi nandito tayo para mag-share ng boses natin, mga magagandang kwento, mag-inspire. At saka syempre, uh, gusto rin natin magtrabaho. Of course. Okay, we can't forget that as well. One shot is all you need uh, for Kuya Jean as well. How how about uh, you, Lara? Um, well, you know, the 18 family is so excited to be, you know, partnering with Star Magic finally. And um, you know, the 18 the 18 artists were really close. As in while we're doing Zoom right now, we're doing we're talking one viber as well. So we just want to, you know, share our love for each other and uh, how we can, you know, merge our talents to create something great together and uh, and especially with our magic. So we're just really excited. The best is yet to come, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> curious na ako kung ano yung sinasabi nyo sa Viber group chat. Uh, but uh, as we dwell on <laughs> that... Edward, 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 I cannot just say that uh, we're talking about the heavenly voice. Um, oh, okay. Kasi, you know, <laughs> gusto, ko, gusto ko lang malaman kung paano rin din maging heavenly yung bosses ko. Nasa Purgatoria pa lang eh. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but when we speak about heavenly voices, we can't forget this next person. Moira, uh, how about you answer that question as well? Um, of course, yun din yung opportunity, same as them. And of course, the new learnings that I'm gonna learn with my Star Magic family and of course with my other um, A-team artists. Yeah. Wait. Really quickly, uh, for the whole of A-Team, I just need a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Uh, is Moira the... She's a, she's the bunso of the whole family, of the A-Team family as well. So, oh yeah. Sigur Robert, no doubt. Magnet, no. Joke. I'm sure you guys all take care of her in that same way. But uh, how about you, Anthony? How are you looking forward to this next chapter of your life? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'd love to say opportunities as well, but I don't want to copy everyone else. So, uh... No, it's opportunities. I'm very, very excited for the opportunities. 
<laughs> Alam naman natin that uh, we're, we're uh, very blessed to be part of the Star Magic family. Uh, at alam ko, we're gonna really take up this experience and, and, and use uh, the available resources that uh, Star Magic have to uh, bring out the best in us. And uh, I think I, I speak for everyone. Or if not, I just speak for myself. Then I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Ato na, Mr. Dota o ako. Aiki! <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, para maiba, ano, uh, kasi ito rin naman talaga kailangan talaga ng artist, no? At, uh, syempre, oportunidad talaga. So, <laughs> alam mo yan, sa dami, sa dami ng sinabi nila, ang hirap paglatak na rin yung nabubunda sa'yo. Pero, nasa isang uh, goal and uh, nasa isang mission and, uh, mission lang yung uh, AT, ma- yun lang, para mag-share lang din ng uh, talents at magpasaya sa maraming tao. Tsaka, yun talaga eh, opportunity talaga yung kailangan. So, eto na yan. I love this guy. Okay, how about you, Chriselle? Yeah, so for me, like, of course, opportunities, and I'm looking forward to collaborations. And I think one of the things talaga, that I'm most looking forward to is the um, opportunity to be seen, you know, because what, like what you've mentioned earlier, Edward, like I um, did sing for a commercial that went viral, but I have also like sung for so many other commercials. And that was what my career was like in the past few years, you know, and I was always like the, the voice behind this project or the voice behind this project. And now I am excited that Star Magic is giving me this opportunity to put myself out there and to be more seen and share my talents with everybody else. So, yeah. And now you won't just be the voice behind all of it. You'll be the, ha- the voice on stage, performing, seen, and in the spotlight. And there's someone who's <laughs> super sanay. Sanay na sanay sa spotlight. That's Kuya Popper. Kuya Popper. Grabe, grabe na, na pressure do ba ako? Uh, alam mo Albert, uh, paano ko ba simulan yung chapter na to? Ah, uh, kasi weird no, pero hindi ako nagpaplano kasi uh, go with the flow si Popper kasi um ang importante sa akin um uh, andun yung excitement, andun yung kaba kasi pag nararamdaman ko yun, parang may something talaga na kakaibang mangyayari sa buhay ko. And uh, given naman na andyan yung opportunities dyan. So, uh, para sa akin yung excitement at saka yung kaba talaga para at least uh, lagi akong uh, excited sa mga ibibigay pa sa akin ni Lord ng mga blessings. So, yun. Alright. Kaya hey Albert, do you have anything yeah, else you'd like to ask? Yeah, thank you so much. And I look forward to those opportunities. Diba? Parang ay, pero wait, parang bigla kong naisip na tanong, bakit pala naging ATM? Parang na-curious ako, paano, paano naisip ni Kuya Ogi Alcasib na gan- yung ganitong klaseng um, talents in one team? Go, okay. Lara. <laughs> Albert, ganito kasi yan. Um, <laughs> di talaga niya, wala talaga siyang balak mo magkaroon ng uh, management company. But... I don't know, before when I needed help for, well, with my career, I was starting out, um, he went up to me and then he said, do you, do you have an album? So, do, you, do, you, do you want one? He said, yes sir, yes sir. So he, it started from there. Then he was looking for a manager for me until he came up with a team and then after me it was Davey. And again, again, uh, I think he attracted singers, singer songwriters. That's why we're all, um, you know, we're all close like that also. And uh, Alka A Team stands for uh, Alcasa Total Entertainment Artist Management. And when I say total, it's really total because from concert producing to um, song jingles uh, to to uh, you know hosting like Anthony and theater, so uh, total package yan, and we're all uh, thankful to our father, Mr. Aguilar. Okay. Uhusay din po kami <laughs> ano, dancers, so, sobrang uhusay din. Ay, oo. Kung nung nakita niya yung video kanina, lahat na yung nagawa namin <laughs> habang nasa bahay lang kami. Ito rin yung background namin bahay. Last <laughs> step eh. Lalo na po si Anthony po. Si Anthony talaga yung ano talaga. I'm the, the, I'm the singer-songwriter that I was talking about. Wow. Yeah. He's, he's a mentor. He's not, not Sir Augie. It's really Anthony. 
Yeah. Okay, well, I'll be sure to let Sir Ogi know about that. <laughs> 18 cents for Anthony pala. Just say, ano, thank, thank you pala. Palagi ako nanonood ng umo mo. I just wanted to say na thank you pinagbibigyan mo yung ano, breakup song ko na All I Ask. Pag ano, pag nag-request ako. Thank you, dear. Yan uh, lang. Thank you, dear. Thank you, Albert. Thank you, Albert. Thank you, Albert. I'm sorry about that, uh, that song and that breakup, but we love you so much. But we're not done with the questions just yet, are we, Miss Tess? Yes, we still have questions here. We will call again Mommy Jo Bonsol of Jo Bonsol.net. Hello, Mommy Jo. Hello, Miss Tess. Hello. I'm back again, Edward. Thank you very much, Miss Tess and Edward. I'd like to ask each, each one of them. First, I'd like to say congratulations. Po, ngayon po, I'm so excited for the A team. So, dahil iba iba kayo ng mga ano, experiences and music is one experience, you know, we all need, especially now. Dahil lahat tayo, minsan, when we want to, ano, to, to feel good about the day, we do something to, you know, we need music all the time. Siguro for you, I'd like to ask each one of you, what is the most unforgettable musical experience that you cannot forget until now? Uh, let's start with the youngest, actually, Moira. Okay, um, for me, I think it would be the latest um, concert that I've been part of. It's the Kilagotitos, the concert of Mr. Augie Alcacid and Mr. Ian Veneracion, of course. Um, it's such a huge honor for me to uh, sing alongside our bosses, um, Sir Ogie, and of course my other co a artist artists, Atelaga and Pia Gian. So I think um, that's one of the one of the shows that I can the always treasure in my career. And I'm sure there are so many more to come. How about you, What's Anthony? The... Uh, in terms of, I mean, musical experience, unfortunately, <laughs> I don't sing. And uh, that's why all my other co artists are laughing. Sample. Sample. He doesn't sing, he raps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I rap. we saw him a while ago. Spring roll sometimes or lumpia. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, rap, uh, rap, <laughs> rapper, sorry. So, no, uh, in terms of musical experience, I'll have to, I'd have to say uh, since joining the A Team family, I've been able to experience three uh, virtual concerts, which is great. Um, at alam naman natin na uh, this is going to may maybe be the new normal for us, virtually experiencing concerts. So, uh, watching the Kilabatitas and also um, Lara's Queen of the Night and uh, the most recent watch, uh, one, which is was uh, Isang Tinig Isang Lahe. Uh, watching all these concerts uh, really drew close to my heart because we're, we're able to now view them from home, from the comforts of our own home, with family, with friends. Uh, which sometimes we can't do because alam nyo naman may nahihirapan tayo bumili ng mga tickets ang daming bumibili ng tickets uh, mm -hmm. when the concerts are in person so in terms of musical experience uh, that would be my answer but um, I'm working on my voice so hopefully uh, I will <laughs> have a concert in 20 siguro mga 3,000 na po 3,000 na tayo and oh, hey, when we look at Sir Ogi, we all know him as a, an amazing comedian as well, and I'm sure he sees that in you, Anthony. But uh, uh, how about you, Lara? Of course, after how many different shows, what's your favorite experience? Oh, um, my, of course, it was pre-pandemic, and I remember, <clears throat> you know, the privilege of being a part of A-Team is you get to experience what Mr. Ogi al Qasid experiences on stage and I remember we went to Saudi Arabia to Ariyan, uh, really pre-pandemic and then there were 15,000 people watching all of these are Filipinos and it was the most memorable um, you know time of my career because imagine touching 15,000 people's hearts yeah. And and bringing them home again, and um, you know, and that's where I got more inspired to write more songs like Mr. Ogi Alcasid, who you know everybody was singing along with him, and you could imagine how imagine. much we can do right after the pandemic, or when this is all over, and what we can do as a team, and 
yeah so i that will go will always be memorable very memorable and we uh i'm sure lara also knows anyone who's performed in front of any filipino uh filipinos are the hardest crowd to please, please. and to impress oh, yes. i yes. think we all know that like oh yes i think was that was that popert uh who said that but we popert and kuya g and you guys also come from uh the background uh, theater background so para sa inyo best musical experience and was there a time that it was really hard to impress the audience Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, uh, well, um, it's kasi mga Pilipino talagang ano eh, alam nila yung gusto nila. So, uh, mahirap mahuli rin yung uhulaan minsan yung gusto nila na nag-iiba-iba rin din yun lagi, hindi ba? Kasi panlasa nga ng Pinoy. So, dapat alam mo rin yun sa sarili mo kung paano ka magiging performer o paano mo sila pasisiyahin, di ba? And at the same time, be your, you know, being the artist that you are. So, lahat yun in simple na yun, di ba? Uh, at the same time, it can be also just so simple. You know, I mean, uh, storya lang. Uh, hindi lang, pero isang storya na tatatak sa mga tao. Um, of course, for me, I have so many other mus- very favorite. Uh, mababaw lang ako eh. Lahat favorite ko yung uh, uh, musical experiences. Like, of course, the most recent pre-pandemic was uh, El Bimbo uh, because oh, wow. theater was a very close, you know, it's very close to my heart and I'm very passionate about it. But I have to say, um, being with A-Team, uh, the most memorable for me already is doing the online concerts uh, with A-Team because those were the first projects, uh, a Christmas show on ATX and then, of course, guesting in Lara Maigis, Queen of the Night, uh, shooting it at the beach. Uh, online for an online audience and of course guesting with uh, with, with yun nga eh kay, uh, kay Sir Ogi and uh, Ian ni Generacion ni Colabotitos and it's this collaboration in this time during the pandemic that's becoming very memorable because uh, ang dami ng panahon ng dumaan one year and a half you know like uh, magto two years na tayong ganito yung situation and um, you know it, you re- you re- we are all realizing I don't know if I can speak for everybody but um we're all realizing how um, how precious uh, performing is uh, live or online. Uh, this is what you know uh, the kids are watching or the new people or people who are probably seeing any type of performance ever. Uh, so if it's online, then uh, it is very uh, you know it moves in a different way in this medium. Bago tong medium eh, online. Eh. Oh. Mm. How about you, we have popper? Ano mga experiences mo? Miss Jo, ang hirap ng tanong mo. <laughs> Pero may naisip akong, ang hirap mamili ng isa, uh, may naisip akong tatlo. First, to be mentored by our national artist for music for 14 years. Uh, lahat siguro ng mga shows doon, grabe. Um, sa theater naman, alam mo, sobrang fortunate enough talaga ako na lahat yon favorite ko. Pero yung uh, tumatak talaga ay ang Rock of Ages kasi marami sa cast talaga. Well, sa aming lahat, maraming nagbukas na opportunities <laughs> dahil sa musical na yun. Um, and the last one, itong latest single ko, ang Payaka Pinay, uh, love letter ko to sa aking uh, yumaong nanay. She passed away three years ago and um, nakanta ko siya sa ASAP stage during uh, uh, during uh, contract signing. Ng, ng, ng Star Magic and very special sa akin yun and uh, lalabas na rin yung second installment ko collaboration ko naman with uh, Maestro Ryan kaya Biat siya naman yung nagsulat ng music nun. so after Rock of Ages i-release ko yun so yun yung tatlong yun and we can't fret uh, we can't fret we can't forget uh, that uh, Popper is also gonna be performing with Rock of Ages very soon streaming online worldwide but uh, worldwide talent is what we know from Purcell as well. So, uh, how about you? What are your amazing experiences? I'm sure you have so many. Um, I think for me, and uh, one of the most memorable experiences for in Sakin is the very first na gig na ko back in 2014. Because um, Siguro, if you had asked me before if this was something that I wanted to do, I've always loved singing. I've always been so passionate about music. Um, I grew up with brothers who are also very passionate about music. Pero yung, and I like started singing in church at a very young age. But if you ask me, I want to 
ng music. Siguro kung before, I would have said no. Pero I remember back in 2014, one of our family friends, she was working for this... Um, uh, she was working for Starbucks Philippines and they were having this event, an in-store event, and they needed a singer, I think, last minute. Tapos parang sabi niya lang sa akin, pwede ba kumakanta ka? Pwede ba nga, no? Ikaw na lang kumanta dun. <laughs> Ikaw na lang kumanta dun sa event namin. So it was like an in-store event, like a Valentine's thingy. Tapos uh, they needed someone to parang sing in, in the background. And and I did pa, parang, uh, I think, around 15 songs, 15 love songs. And I just... Yeah, 15 love songs for cover songs. That was my first gig ever. Mm-hmm. Um, I was getting paid for it, like a decent amount for it. Because of, of course, like it was a, a good Should have been paid per song. Yeah. Libre, libre, libre. Wala pa, wala pang A-team nun eh. Wala pang Okay, okay. <laughs> ako, ako pa lang. No, so, um, I had one of my friends play it for me at that time. And then, some of my friends also from church came. Actually, see si Bam, uh, she works for 18 now. She actually was the one who introduced me to 18. She was there at my ver- very first gig ever. And parang ngayon, sobrang nag-post circle lang na. She has been there since day one. And then she got me to be a part of a team also and it was super memorable talaga. and that was, it was super fun if I could relive that moment over and over again I would because I'm super grateful for it and that was the moment when I felt like okay maybe I can do this you know this seems fun and okay din pala mabayaran pag kumakadaan <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not, not kidding. But yeah, that was, that was super memorable. Well, uh, I remember Sir Ogi even saying, if you can't do the basics, the small things, those small gigs, how are you going to do it on the bigger stage? And I know he's breeding you guys to do that as well. But you know, Aiki, bukod sa Dota o ako, an your favorite moment mo? Ah, sa akin, siguro yung ano, hindi ko makalimutan talaga yung sa Bataan, somewhere in Bataan, na to the point na yung lahat ng tao eh, kinakanta yung kanta mo. So, iba talaga sa pakiramdam kasi una, hindi siya nakakapagod kasi kinakanta nga nila. <laughs> of course, uh, iba yung feeling talaga na uh, na-appreciate nila yung mga songs na nagawa mo. Tapos, uh, nalaman-lama ko yung mga nasa una ang kumakanta, mga pinsang ko pala. No? <laughs> Pero yun yung isa sa mga so, pinaka di ko makakalimunan. Of course, uh, sa, uh, sa madami kasi, yun talaga yung pinaka mga nakakamiss talaga pero sa kalagitnaan nun na kalagitnaan ng uh, pandemya ito yung patunay na hindi had lang ang kahit ano no mapapandemya man yan hindi had lang para uh, mag-proceed or magpatuloy yung music na pinagiliwan no talagang uh, gilig ng mga tao na yun ang kailangan mismo sa puso nila diba? 